pedestrian and safety issues in the borough. Hey, Dale, sorry, if I could just interject really quickly, just a reminder that, you know, we're capturing scores on the back end of these. So as things are fresh in the mind, if people got a scratch pad and, and grab thoughts so that we're not trying to retro think about, you know, what, what value we were attaching to these things. Good point. Um, pedestrian safety issues. Again, uh, we're getting back to that, that making um, Bridgeville more pedestrian friendly. Um, it can be a challenging time walk, walking through and navigating through Bridgeville, um, especially doing, due to increased traffic volume, um, poorly maintained sidewalks, um, crosswalks at poor locations, sight lines. Um, some of the things that, that you know, are tangential to this is, you know, um, pedestrian safe crossing, um, safe access to community parks like McLaughlin um, and Chartiers Park, you know, they're not really walkable. Um, moving, uh, improving uh, crosswalks, um, uh, reducing sight lines, um, making them more visible um, to the drivers, um, improving signage um, is another one. So um, solution, um, reviewing the location and, and uh, crosswalk marking signage at intersections with poor sight lines. Um, you know, intersections of particular interest are Bower Hill, Railroad Street, um, Dewey Avenue, Dewey and Bank Streets. Um, potential solutions, um, you know, increasing signage with some of the new high visibility sign um, for, for existing crosswalks, better or different um, roadway markings to assist drivers to recognize um, crosswalks. Um, create a sidewalk maintenance program to identify sidewalks that, that are in need of repair in, in high pedestrian traffic areas um, and, and uh, move um, make a plan to move out into the neighborhoods. Um, some of this is a zoning and, uh, enforcement work um, and some of it's working with um, you know, property owners um, to, to correct the issue. Um, and maybe some of we can get some um, neighborhood beautiful beautification grants or something along those lines to help out with sidewalk repair. Um, solution partners, Bridgeville Public Safety Committee, PennDOT, Allegheny County. Um, there's probably some others out there. There's probably some other granting um, agencies out there. Again, um, it's going to add value to the community um, and, and probably could be done without a whole lot of dollars. Comments, feedback? Yeah, I, uh, I got one, Dale. Okay. Um, you know, like, and, you know, we, we talk about all these different projects and, you know, and they're all, if you think about it, they're all combined. I mean, they're all connected in some way or the other. You know, the last time, you know, the last part we talked about beautification and we talked about signage. You know, part of the signage package was wayfaring, you know, uh, signs, you know, this way to the library, this way to here, which would tie right into, you know, your pedestrians for walkways with this one. Um, just like parking would tie into, you know, your signage for parking. So, um, you know, when we put, we put these dollar signs on, uh, on, these, on some of these projects, well, it might be three dollar signs for one of them, but maybe half of that dollar sign goes to another project, another half goes to another project. So, um, I think this is really important. This is a a, a very important um, piece of that we could work on, and I don't think it is expensive, but it's just a matter of identifying, you know, where are the where do people walk? You know, you know, it would it would you would take some surveying going up to your hill and going to different parts of Bridgeville to the people who do walk and say where when you walk which which the routes you would take and if you could walk a certain way where would you like to see you know improvements mm -hmm. well and, and you know I, I having done a little bit of traveling here recently and and visiting some different communities you know it's amazing to me that that what some communities have done rather than just the two standard white lines for crosswalks they've actually done some sort of a, a crosshatch pattern in the crosswalk. So it really draws driver's attention that, hey, there's a crosswalk here. And yeah. you know, with a high vis 
just the high vis. I'm not talking about a lighted sign or anything like that, but just the 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 high vis green sign with the black lettering and that type of thing helps make those things stand out, and it just makes it a little bit safer. I agree. It's just a thought, you know. That's uh, and we we have had some areas that have been, you know, brought to our attention that are you know, really close to where, you know, the borough building, you know, if you go right up at the intersection of Washington Pike and Bar Hill Road, yep. um, plains up there, that's a very difficult place to cross if you're going to go to the other side. And then obviously down by the Dairy Delight, um, you know, we've had, you know, many people complain about that. And, and, you know, in the summertime, you think about the Dairy Delight, you know, where do people park? They try to go over there and you have a lot of foot traffic that walks there. Um, so there are issues where something where a high vis walkway, like a crosswalk would be beneficial and it probably wouldn't be that much money. Right. Well, and you know, I mean, this is this, the, the, the pedestrian safety was one of the things in the, in the comprehensive plan. Is it still an issue in Bridgeville? Does the planning commission feel it's still an issue in Bridgeville? I do. I, I think I think uh, pedestrian traffic is extremely important in Bridgeville. I and do. I see issues every day, especially when kids are in school. Or out of school. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dale, just a question. So I'm I'm thinking about the places that I walk, right? And one of the one of the things that pops to mind is like that alley between Chartier's Street and the uh, the Berg's parking lot where like the road is just caving into the railroad line. Like, are those, are there ap operational budget dollars set aside to address that as just part of borough maintenance or does all that require capital investment of some sort? Mike? Uh, you, are you talking about Warner Avenue? I don't know the name of it. Yeah, I think sure. it is. It's just sure. right over the, right over the, the two lane bridge there. If you make the right and take the back way into Berg. Yes, yeah, actually on the list that gets fixed uh, this year. Okay, because I, I just I've noticed more orange cones being thrown into holes that have been there for some time, and yeah. it doesn't seem a sustainable approach. Yeah. I don't know how much of this we would look to pick up as a capital project as opposed to. That's on the list this year to be if if anybody any uh, any of you council guys want to chime in, but I, I'm pretty sure it's still. Um, I talked to Lori last week, and um, when we started doing all the grants for all the flooding projects. That was one of the things that we had on our list to get taken care of. Um, it didn't get funding through the grants, but um, I believe Borough is moving forward to get taken care of uh, regardless. Okay. That is that is correct, Mike. And if I remember correctly, we had to apply for some permit or something. Okay. So right. that's, that's what the delay was. Yeah. Okay, so I, I would look at this then, Dale, as true improvements as opposed to any kind of maintenance of deteriorating conditions. Warner Avenue, you're talking about? Well, that uh, there's some place up in Washington Pike, if I'm not mistaken, that's just got an orange cone thrown into a crumbling sidewalk somewhere. Um, okay, I, I'm still on pedestrian issues here. Agree. I'm a pedestrian as much as I'm walking a sidewalk and there's a cone in the hole. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm with you. <laughs> I just, I'm trying to tease out how much that's going to be taken care of and we don't need to set aside and ask for funding for it as opposed to stuff that we say it's just on the sidelines until we approve it some other way. Yeah. Well, and I, I think, you know, in further discussions as we, as we, you know, comb some of this stuff out that, you know, some of these issues will will find their find their home as for, you know pedestrian yeah. issue or or zoning or maintenance or that type of thing. So oh, real real quick, Dale, real quick. Um, when you talk about you know accessibility for pedestrians and you know how do we make it better, are you talking primarily on crosswalks and connect connectivity, or like when Tim's talking about it, when he's walking and he sees a you know a part of the sidewalk that's the needs is in disrepair and needs fixed because yeah, it's, it's it's sidewalks and crosswalks it's sidewalks through the neighborhoods and along main main because, because then you then you were you know playing devil's advocate sidewalks are the ability of the homeowner and the residents so now it becomes a matter of how, how much are we going to enforce that um you know to take care of you know do we tell the owner hey you got to take care of this because you well, know we're in town and 
fix your sidewalks. Well, it's, you know, it's a matter of coming up with a plan for doing some of that stuff. Exactly. You know, and, you know, anything that we can do to help the borough council along with, with some of this stuff and, you know, put together a to-do list for, for, you know, some, you know, pedestrian stuff, pedestrian issues, then, you know, yep. we're further along, they're further along and the borough in, in, in its entirety is further along. Yep. Again, about everything being connected. Now you have a zoning issue, which we talked about zoning the last time and zoning enforcement. Yeah. Those stuff like that would fix this pro fix problem. Yeah. So, okay. Any other comments? Okay. Moving along. Um, Joe put together, Joe Cower put.